Hey guys, Steel Dude 11 here, and I'm back with another video. This is another sports predictions video, and this time I'm going to be predicting the 2018 season for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This was recommended by my brother Nathan, who, um, this is his favorite team, and I'm going, he wanted me to do a video on this, so I, that's what I'm going to do. So week one, the Bucks will be starting off on the road in New Orleans, Louisiana, taking on their divisional rival, the New Orleans Saints. Now, of course, they always play twice every year. In the first, in last, they played last year, of course. In the first game, the Saints won 30 to 10. In the second game, the Bucks won 31 to 24. So for this game, I'm going to predict the Bucks are going to lose. They're going to lose their first game of the year against a tough divisional opponent. And that's the Saints are going to get their first win, while the Bucks, it's going to be different for them. All right. Then next up, the Bucks will be heading back home to be taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. The last time these two teams played was in 2015, and the Bucks won 45 to 17. The Eagles haven't beaten the Bucks since 2013 where the Eagles won 31 to 20. Now, the Eagles are the defending Super Bowl champions. They're still pretty good and the Bucks, they're trying to have a rebuild year. And also considering about the fact that Jameis Winston is going to have to be suspended for 3 games because of the Uber driver incident, but the Bucks are going to lose this game. And I just don't think they're going to get it done against that opponent. But week 3, the Bucks will be having a Monday night game against my favorite team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. And also mentioning this is going to be the Bucks' only night game this season. The last time these two teams played was in 2014, where the Bucks won 27 to 24. The Steelers haven't beaten the Bucks since 2010, where the Steelers won 38 to 13. Also, granted that they only play once every four years, so that's why it's been so long. But the Steelers are going to win that game because in my video, I predicted that the Steelers were going to beat the Bucks, So it wouldn't make any sense if I changed it around. And um, that's how it's going to be. Then in week four, the Bucks will be heading to Chicago, Illinois to be taking on the Chicago Bears. This is going to be the Bucks' first win of the year. They're going to beat the Bears. The last time they played was in 2017. Last year, where the Bucks won 29 to seven, the Bears haven't beaten the Bucks since 2015, where the Bears won 26 to 21. And keep in mind, the Bears and the Bucks have been playing, ever have been playing against each other for every season since 2015. This is going to be the Bucks' first win. The Bucks typically do well against the Bears, but granted, the last two matchups that the Bucks played against the Bears were at Tampa, but this time it's going to be at Chicago, and the last time the Bucks played the Bears, well, actually, the Bucks hasn't played the Bears in Chicago in a long time, so I don't know how this game is going to go, but I'm predicting the Bucks are going to win this game. Then it's going to, then the Bucks after that, will have their bye week. Then the Bucks will be playing against their divisional rival, the Atlanta Falcons at Atlanta, and of course, the Bucks and Falcons play twice every year. Last year, the Falcons won both the games, winning the first game 34 to 20 and winning the second game 24 to 21. I if I do remember correctly, I think that second game was a Monday night game. But the Falcons are going to win this game. It's going to be they're going to be tough at home. That's typically what the Falcons tend to do. And that's that's what's going to happen. Then next, the Bucks will be traveling back to Tampa to be taking on the Cleveland Browns. The last time these two teams played was in 2014, where the Browns won 22 to 17. The Bucks haven't beaten the Browns since 2010, where the Bucks won 17 to 14 in that game. Now the Bucks are going to win this game, as I as I suspected in my previous videos. I don't think the Browns are going to be doing that well this season, even though. People are saying, oh, they could do well, playoff contenders. That's what they said last year. But the Browns didn't even win a single game. But th they had to show Kaiser he was terrible. Oh, excuse me. Maybe Baker Mayfield will be better. I don't know. But the Bucks are going to win this game. 
Next up, the Bucks will be traveling to Cincinnati, Ohio to be taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. The last time these two teams played was in 2014, where the Bengals won 14 to 13. The Bucks haven't beaten the Bengals since 2010, where the Bucks won 24 to 21. Now the Bucks are going to win this game because you know what the Bengals like to do, which is to choke. Bengals seem to choke in a lot of their games, which I don't know why. Maybe it's because Marvin Lewis, which I think they made a mistake of signing him for a couple more years. But the Bucks are going to win this game against Cincinnati. Then the Bucks will be traveling to Charlotte, North Carolina, to be taking on their divisional rival, the Carolina Panthers. These two teams played twice last year because they're in the same division. The Panthers won both games. The Panthers won the first game 17-3, to and they won the second game. Hold on. Let me rephrase this. They won the first game 17-3, to and they won the second game 22-19. to so the Bucks are going to lose this game. This is going to be a win for the Panthers. And um, it's just nothing more needs to be said. Cam Newton is going to do amazing, which is what he tends to do. The Bucks don't really seem to do good against Tampa. It says the Bucks haven't beaten the Panthers in about a couple years. All right, the next up, the Bucks will be traveling back home and be taking on the Washington Redskins. Last time they played was in 2015 where the Redskins had that amazing comeback and won the game 31-30. to Now, that was a good game, a great comeback for the, for the Redskins, and it was that game where Kirk Cousins said the infamous quote, do you like, or no, he said, you like that? My brother did not like that. What do you mean? Because you're a Bucks fan. I don't get it. Anyway... The Bucks are going to win this game. It's going to be an easy game for the Bucks. I don't know. I don't think the Redskins are going to be doing very well this year. All right. The next up, the Giants. They'll be playing the Giants at East Rutherford, New Jersey. Last time these two teams played was last year, where the Bucks won 25 to 23. The Giants have not beaten the Bucks since 2015, where the Giants won 32 to 18. Now, this is going to be a win for the Giants because I said in my Giants prediction video that the Giants will win, and I can't change it because that wouldn't make any sense. I'm basically trying to say things that it's basically impossible to happen. Two teams win, but they can't if they're playing against each other. One has to win or a tie. So the Bucks are going to lose this game. Then the Bucks will be heading back home to be taking on the San Francisco 49ers. The last time they played was in 2016, where the Bucks won 34 to 17. The 49ers haven't beaten the Bucks since 2013, where the 49ers won that game 33 to 14. Now, the Bucks are gonna win this game. They're gonna win against the 49ers. I don't. I think the 49ers they can do pretty good with Jimmy G at quarterback. But they're not going to do really good. Like, they're going to do pretty good, not really good. The Bucks are going to win this game at Tampa. It'll be a very close game and a good win for the Bucks. a needed win. Then once again, they'll be playing their second game against the Carolina Panthers. The Bucks are going to win. Hold on a second. <coughs> they're going to be winning the second game against the Panthers. Then the Bucks will be staying in Tampa for the third time in a row and be playing their division rival, the New Orleans Saints. The Bucks are going to lose this game. The Bucks are going to they're going to lose both games against the Saints this coming season. Cuz I don't think the Saints want to screw up against the Bucks like they did back in back last year in that last game of the season where the Bucks scored a last second touchdown to win the game. Then next up the Bucks will be playing their last AFC opponent of the year, the Baltimore Ravens. The last time they played was in 2014, where the Ravens won 48-17. And the Bucks haven't beaten the Ravens in over 10 years. So nothing much is going to change. The Ravens are going to win this game. Now, I know the Ravens have been struggling a bit lately, but the Ravens are going to get it done at home and beat the Bucks. Then... The Bucks will be heading to Dallas to be taking on the Cowboys. The last time they played was in 2016, 
where the Cowboys won 26 to 20, and I believe it was a Sunday night game when they played. And then the last time the Bucks beat the Cowboys was in 2015. The Bucks won that game 10 to 6. But of course, both teams were kind of trashy that year. But um, the Bucks are going to win this game. They're going to beat Dallas, and it's going to be an important win for them. And finally, the Bucks will be ending off their season at home, and they're going to be taking on their division rival, the Atlanta Falcons. The Bucks are going to win this game. The Bucks can't seem to beat their opponents on the road, but they can beat them at home, except if it's the Saints, of course. But all right, so that's how the Bucks season is going to be. Now, excuse me for a second while I count and see how many teams I have the Bucks beating. All right, I have the Bucks finishing eight and eight. They're not going to have a winning season, and they're not going to have a losing season either. They're going to have an even season, as I could say. 8-8, eight and eight, maybe making the playoffs, but you know you don't really typically see an 8-8 eight and eight team in the playoffs. Unless, of course, if all the other teams don't, if all the other teams that the Bucks are in the same conference with don't finish with a record that's worse than 8-8, eight and eight, with a losing season. But if the Bucks make the playoffs, they're going to lose in the wild card round. If they're lucky enough, they'll make it to the divisional round. But I don't think they're going to make it past the wild card round. Okay, Hello. so that's my Hello. so that's my season. The Bucks are finishing eight and eight. I'm predicting last place in the NFC South. Hello. But the NFC South is typically to be looking really good this year. Lots of good teams. Maybe the Bucks will do worse than I think. I don't know. I read an article on Sports Illustrated, and they said that the Bucks are going to finish with two wins, 13 losses, and one tie, and their tie is going to be against the Redskins, which I don't see that. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you don't agree with my prediction, then feel free to put in the comment section how you think the Bucks will finish this year. And if you have any other recommendations for what you want me to do, I'll look at it, and I'll try to get to it the soonest I can. All right. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.